When you work with AutoCAD, you will often find it useful to have more than one drawing file open at a time, and some of those drawings will have multiple drawing tabs or paper space tabs in them. Navigating through that mess can be difficult and sluggish. How do you know which drawing you need or what tab you need, especially if they aren't your files? A very quick method of switching through open drawings is by pressing Ctrl and Tab at the same time. I have two files open now, just this one and another blank one. But if I press Ctrl and Tab at the same time, it will toggle me through my open files. I keep pressing and it will take me back and forth. Now I can also press Ctrl Shift Tab and that will reverse the direction that I'm traveling through. I only have two files open right now, so the direction is irrelevant. But if we had three or four, then you'd get the idea. But what if you have, let's say, 10 drawings open, and each one of them has five tabs? And plus, when you press Control and Tab at the same time, it only takes you to the current layout tab that you had open last in that file. So what if it's the wrong one? Okay, there's another way to get around this. You can also press Control and Page Up to toggle through your current drawing. You can also hit page down. Page down will take you through your tabs. Page up will take you in the opposite direction. So that's one way to get through your different layout tabs in your file that you have currently open. The control tab is real easy to do. The page up and page down can be a little cumbersome. Let's open up a drawing with multiple tabs. In fact, we'll open up several of them here. I'll just go through my recent files list and pick a couple of them. This will work nicely. Okay, there are two tools that are very similar to each other, and we kind of took a brief look at them in a previous section where we talked about the status bar uh, controls. They are the quick view layouts and quick view drawings. So let's open up a drawing that has multiple tabs in it. In fact, all that I've opened have them. And you can open up any files or you can just watch what's going on here. Right here is the button on the status bar on the bottom of your screen, the quick view layouts. And to the right of that is the quick view drawings. If I pick it, it will show me all the tabs available for the drawing that I have open now. And I can quickly pick one or the other and go to it. The current one will be highlighted with this green box and the name is bold. So now I know what I'm looking at. And when I go to the quick view drawings, pick it, the left click, it shows me all the files that I have opened. Of course, the one that's bold and the one with the green box is the current drawing. Now I can go to one of the others or any of the other files and then go up to their paper space tabs and I can go directly to it or a model space tab as in this case. So there are two sets of previews, one for the file itself and one for the tabs in that file. Now as I'm working in these, I have some controls of what I can do. I can pin this by clicking here on the left. So this is always going to be open. Now, I don't know that you'd really want to do this to be quite honest, but you have the option. Uh, maybe you want to quickly review some drawings and you have them all open and you want to be able to jump around in them very quickly, then you may want to do that. You can also, as I just showed you by accident, click on a plot button so that you can print your drawing or a publish. We'll talk about publishing later. Publishing is a big batch plotting when you want to print more than one drawing at a time. You can do that. You can also open files here, start a new file, or close the quick view drawings option altogether. So that's one way to quickly navigate through your files that you have open and through all the drawing tabs that are available to them with a visual interface.